All right, let's see if the level is good. I don't want to overdrive the tape. All right, and now I am recording on this nice old 70s Aristona 9147 cassette deck. It's exactly similar to a Philips N2509. The only difference is that it's a little bit different color and it has this badge on the front. <laughs> really, it's just a Philips. Judging by the way this thing looked on the inside when I got it. The power switch didn't work anymore, as is so usual for Philips. And of course, the drive belts had it done a Philips, like uh, River calls it, meaning that they had just deteriorated. So I had to fish belt goo completely out of this whole machine replace uh, three belts by brand new ones and uh, well it runs again this thing is kinda interesting it has the exact same drive mechanism as a uh, one of the very first cassette recorders from Philips the uh, EL3302 did so uh, well they just carried on the same mechan mechanism uh, like they say never change a winning team uh, except this thing is stereo just has a little bit different player record head in there and different amplifier. This thing is uh, quite simple and quite nice looking. You have the two microphone inputs there underneath a little door that slides down. Two record levels, for sliders, a uh, set of VU meters, counter, cassette door, eject lever, pause lever, and the controls uh, record, rewind, start, wind and stop. Uh, rewind still moves the uh, most internal an arm to the left and start an arm forward wind an arm to the right and stop just disengages that thing again record just presses over the record switch on the back there is a tape in tape out line in line out connection and a funnel input voltage selector power input and a fuse behind the door and uh, well it has a dynamic noise limiter which is nowhere near Dolby it just basically doesn't do anything to the sound like I wonder if it's even working I mean the the light works but do you hear any difference between this and this well I have no idea anyway let's rewind and see what this thing sounds like probably dull because the head's worn out Have it hooked up to my stereo here. It's gonna come out on that speaker. All right, and now I am recording on this nice old 70s Aristona 9147 cassette deck. It's exactly similar to a Philips N2509. The only difference is that it's a little bit different color and it has this badge on the front. Really, it's just a Philips. Judging by the way this thing looked on the inside when I got it. The power switch didn't work anymore, as is so usual for Philips. And of course, the drive belt had it done a Philips, like uh, River calls it, meaning that they had just deteriorated. So I had to fish belt goo completely out of this whole machine, replace uh, three belts by brand new ones, and uh, well, it runs again. This thing is kind of interesting. It has the exact same drive mechanism as a. Uh, one of the very first cassette recorders from Philips, the uh, EL3302 did. So uh, well, they just carried on the same making mechanism. Uh, like they say, never change a winning team. Uh, except this thing is stereo. Just has a little bit different play record head in there and different amplifier. This thing is uh, quite simple and quite nice looking. You have the two microphone inputs there underneath the little door that slides down, to record levels, sliders, a uh, set of video mirrors, counter, cassette door, eject lever, pause lever, and the controls, uh, record, rewind, start, on and stop, uh, rewind still moves the, the most internal and arm to the left, and start an arm forward, wind an arm to the right, and stop just disengages that thing, and record just presses over the record switch. On the back there is a 
tape in, tape out, line in, line out connection, and a funnel input, voltage selector, power input, and a fuse behind the door. And, uh, well, it has a dynamic noise limiter, which is nowhere near Dolby. It just basically doesn't do anything to the sound. Like, I wonder if it's even working. I mean, the, the light works, but do we hear any difference between this and this? Well, I have no idea. Anyway. Let's rewind and see what this thing sounds like. Probably dull because the head's worn out. There you have it, indeed very dull. On everything you do with it. I mean, I got this tape, which sounds amazing on uh, some other decks I have. Well, let's hear what it sounds like on this. Well, well one thing I have to say is positive. Rewind and fast forward work excellent. Just one thing is kind of weird in rewind, the motor does indeed run backwards. Like all the old little Philipses does. Did, I mean. For some reason it sounds a bit distorted and dull. Perhaps it's just the capacitor and the amp that's bad. wonder if anybody can tell me. Well, the head looks good, but I think it's worn out. Anyway. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you again soon.